Hey, what's going on guys? 1-4 here with another gear video for you. I realized that with all of the fancy schmancy helmet cam footage that I've been uploading recently, I have been neglecting my duties to help keep people informed as much as I can about what is the best airsoft gear, or at least what is the best gear for your money for this sport. And um, I pulled this shirt out of my closet because I am getting ready for a couple of ops in the next couple, well, in about the next six months that will more than likely call for this camouflage pattern. Old school, good old M81 Woodland. Now, why am I making this video? You know, most of you, I'm sure actually all of you who are watching this video, know about Woodland BDUs, you know about this pattern, you know about where to get the pants, where to get the shirts, etc., but I don't think that a lot of you necessarily know about this shirt in front of you here. Now, what this is, is obviously a combat shirt. But what, it, what is surprising about it is, number one, it's a good shirt. Number two, it's made by a paintball company. Now, before I get Zerg rushed on my way out to the car later to go about my business, buy a bunch of multi-clam cad, multi-cam clad, airsofters who want to burn me at the stake for wearing something made by a paintball company. I must just keep it 100% real. This is a good shirt. Now, what you're looking at um, after that unnecessarily long, minute and a half long uh, introduction is the Rap 4 Woodland Combat Shirt. Now, Rap 4 is, is a brand that's well known in kind of uh, paintball's milsim dimension. And um, what they have done is they've created a combat shirt like the one that you see in front of you in many different patterns that is available for airsofters and paintballers alike. And it's marketed to both groups. So kudos to Rap4 for that. But um, basically, I bought this combat shirt last year for Battle, for Battle for Breedland out in Wisconsin, which is an op that calls for either DCUs or BDUs, and that's it. And you're not allowed to wear any other patterns. And so I was torn between, because uh, at the time I was, you know, I just wasn't working as hard at developing my airsoft career. And so I was kind of like, do I want to just get a woodland blouse top or what am I going to do? And I decided, you know, I'm just going to force myself to buy a combat shirt because it's going to be hot as balls up there and I really need something that is going to serve the purpose. And so that's what I did. Now, I picked this up off eBay for I think $38, maybe $45 shipped. Um, now some people might be saying, well, I can get a true spec for about that much. And, you know, I believe that true spec, some people may believe that true spec is a better brand. And that may not be totally incorrect, but I would like to make the argument for this shirt. And I'll start from top to bottom and give you guys as detailed a review as I, what I think is necessary. Now, this shirt is reminiscent of the Cry AC or G3 shirt in that it features a high collar that can be popped or rolled down. I kept it popped for most of the op because there were mosquitoes out there and it did a good job of keeping them at bay. Um, here up front is a 6 inch YKK zipper channel. Uh, it's a YKK zipper. It's quality. It doesn't get caught up in the material. It's it's a good zipper all in all. And then, of course, the standard combat shirt design where there's BDU material on the shoulders and collar. And then the core features a thinner material that is, in the case of this shirt, a very, very close to Under Armour material. Now, some combat shirts like the actual Cries, Frog shirts, um, shirts by True Spec and Proper, and others have kind of a cottony nylon blend that is uh, kind of kind of like a t-shirt, but it breathes easier. This, on the other hand, is very synthetic feeling. It's very Under Armour feeling, and to be honest, when I first put it on, I thought that it felt kind of gross, but after a day of running around in a woods, um, in the humidity, this uh, this material does a good job of keeping you, uh, of keeping you at a good temperature. Now, over here on the shoulders are the Velcro, standard Velcro panels that is to be expected of combat shirts. You know, there is obviously a pocket in there. It's big enough 
for maps and sharpies, dips, smokes, whatever you're into, and uh, and enough space up top for an IFF flag, and then enough space in the middle of the panel here for unit patches, team patches, what have you. Um, and it's the same on both sides. Now, both arms feature some large pocket here. You can see where it opens. I never used it, though. Um, the sleeves, do they're not too short, they're not too long, and they cinch up nicely down there at the bottom with, uh, with that standard Velcro enclosure that you've come to expect from combat shirts. So, all in all, it's a good design, it's reminiscent of the cries. The material might take some getting used to in the core, but it breathes well, and you know it, 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 it's a good investment, for, especially considering the price point that is less than $50. It's more economical than the, than the true specs or the propers or even the Helicon or Helicon or however you pronounce that brand's name, those combat shirts, and definitely more economical than the cries and toy soldier replicas. Now, some people out there who are doing Marsoc impressions need a woodland set uh, with the cry pants and the shirt. While you could probably skate by with this shirt, you know, you might want to go with the All Win, you might want to go with the FFI or the Toy Soldier replicas. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sure where one could get a Woodland Cry set, an authentic Woodland Cry set for less than like a thousand dollars as they're going on eBay. If anybody has any information about that, I'm all ears. But um, if you're doing a Marsoc impression and you need the, and you need like this kind of shirt, this will do the job. Uh, it's not the most Gucci shirt on the internet. It's not the most Gucci shirt available, but it gets the job done. So for those of you who are who, like me, who don't necessarily do an impression, who are just looking for a Woodland Combat shirt, and you want something with a collar that's higher, because remember, the, the true spec has a regular t-shirt style collar. So if you are running a sling and you don't have it run through your shoulder pads, you will probably want this shirt since it has a higher collar and the sling will stay off your neck. So... That's how I feel, and um, I really recommend this shirt to anyone who's looking for a Woodland um, uh, combat shirt top, especially if you're one of the guys who is going to Op Origins at, uh, at Splatmandu this spring, as it's being hosted by the guys from Kalamazoo Airsoft, um, and you're going greenside, you're going to want a combat shirt. It'll be Memorial Day weekend, it will probably be hot, and so you will want a shirt like this. It's worth the extra 20 bucks that, uh, it, I mean, it's about 20 bucks more than a surplus BDU top, but still, it, it's worth it. You, you will enjoy yourself more. So that's my opinion regarding that matter. But um, So that just about does it for this review, guys. I recommend this shirt, especially for the price point. Um, what's coming up soon, for those of you who are uh, watching regularly, I will be hopefully um, in the not-too-distant future doing a review on the ATS War Belt. I picked that up. The MDOM, the newer MDOM dump pouch, also, that will be in the same video. And then also, I will be doing a video about how to mod your ACU cut proper or true spec pants to accommodate the Cry Precision knee pad. So, um, stay tuned. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. If you have any particular questions or any concerns, PM me or shoot me an email at tacapguru.gmail.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.